You know how Quake has that really useful console where you can just press the tilde key and type in some commands to load different maps and such? Wouldn't you love to have that for your projects in Gutout without having to implement it yourself? I got you covered. All you have to do is click on the asset lib in Gutto and search for developer console. Look for the one by Jitspo. That's me! Click on it, download it, install it, press the buttons, then go to the project settings, plugins, and click the checkbox to enable it. If you don't already have a script, you can create one. Console commands can be added pretty much anywhere, but you typically want to put them in the ready function. Console.add command with the command name as a string and a function is literally all you have to do to add a console command. Now we just have to implement our hello function here and we can use console.println to output text to the console. While the game's running, press tilde or whatever's to the left of your number row to toggle the console. Typing commands that don't exist will give you an error. But if you type it correctly, Hello there. I typically like to prefix functions called from the console with console underscore for clarity, so let's do that and also add a parameter. Putting one here tells the console that this command takes one parameter. This will be passed to our function as a string. I'll just make it say who we said hello to using gadot string formatting, and now when we use the console command, we can see the parameter in action. If you use the commands list command, you'll notice that our parameter is just called arg1, but we can give it a name if we want to. Instead of using one for the number of parameters, we can pass in an array of strings with the parameter names. You can thank Handers for adding some of these fancier features. We can also specify the required number of parameters and a description if we want to get really fancy. Now if we try to use the command without enough parameters, it'll print an error. If you want the console to pause the game, simply type console.pause enabled equals true. Now everything pauses when opening the console and resumes when it's closed. Things can get kind of wonky if you have conflicting systems trying to pause and unpause the game, so I added signals that you can connect to for when the console opens and closes. I'm just printing to the console as an example here, but you could manage pausing or even do fun stuff like tell the player they're not supposed to be there like I did in my game Goop Loop. Goop Loop! Hey, you're not supposed to be here. This is a developer console. And here's the console prints when you open and close the console just to show it works. There's also a signal for unknown commands being entered. Not sure why I added that as I've never needed it, but maybe you want to play a sound or something when somebody types wrong commands in. <laughs> You can add console commands from any script, but if the script is not always loaded, make sure you remove the command on the exit tree so Gata doesn't crash if the command is used on an unloaded scene. If you need command parameters that aren't strings, Gudoot has lots of string functions to convert to other types, like here we can use to float to convert to floating point values. And here we can see a console command doing something other than just printing something. That's about all there is to it, but if you want to enable or disable the console in release mode, you can use console.enable on release build equals true or false. Also, you can set the second parameter in the console.print line to true if you want to print text to both the console and Gadot's output. Hello, patrons! These wonderful people help me provide tutorials and add-ons like this to you free of charge. While I don't have a lot to offer patrons exclusively outside of a name on a list, if you do have a tutorial or video or whatever you'd like to see, patrons do get priority on that when it comes to deciding what I work on. Oh, also I just updated the console add-on to support quotes and escape characters so you can have strings with spaces and new lines and such. Hope this was useful. Happy Gadootin!